This is Doppler on Wheels, or DAO, a rugged mobile radar unit that does its best work in dangerous places. At the back of the truck is the real action end of the Doppler on Wheels, and that's the biggest dish that we can get down the road. With support from the National Science Foundation, meteorologist Josh Werman and his team at the Center for Severe Weather Research study hurricanes, tornadoes, and blizzards from the inside. Really, during its first weeks of operation, it revolutionized how we think about observing phenomena of this type. Hurricanes, tornadoes, nighttime convection. But the first time we intercepted a major tornado and got about two or three kilometers from it, and we were able to take slices through that tornado and map out the wind, see the debris cloud, everybody was extremely excited. When severe weather threatens, team members coordinate a fleet of storm-chasing vehicles from this compact control room inside the Dow. Others are on pod duty. These are portable, rugged weather stations. And the idea is if a tornado is coming towards us, we drive on a road and drop, 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 drop 24 of them in front of the tornado. It's three kilometers from the Dow right now. This kind of work is a sure bet to get the adrenaline pumping. There's a, a natural tension between being ambitious, trying to get up as close as possible to the storm, and also trying to keep our crew safe. But the balance is always towards safety. This is not a Hollywood movie where, if we get this data set, great, but we might die trying. But the images they capture will blow you away. By making maps of those winds and seeing exactly which wind gusts knock down this building, we can learn a lot more about what kinds of winds do which kinds of damage. One of the Dows was on Cape Cod during the brutal winter of 2015, riding out a blizzard. So we're really mapping out some of these fine scale details. We're mapping out stuff that's below normal radar height or in between different observation stations. Looking at where the heaviest snow sets up, looking where there's transitions between rain and snow. Home base is a hangar at the Boulder, Colorado airport. Is that two or are you counting that as one? I'm counting that one as one. Collecting data is just the start. Analysis can take years. And what they are learning will help save lives. If we can contribute knowledge, which will make those warnings better, then a 13-minute average warning time for tornadoes, which is what it is currently, can be increased to 15 or 18 or 20. And those few minutes really do make a difference. They've deployed all over, from Tornado Alley to Alaska and Hawaii, and weathered many a storm, going through 200 tornadoes and more than a few windshields all to keep us safer during dangerous storms. For Science Nation, I'm Miles O'Brien.